Hi, Philip Long here with BIS Technology Group, and today we're going to talk about being able to identify a threat to the network. Um, and you know, the really the best way to identify a threat is to know what unauthentic things look like. You know, in banks, they don't go over course after course after course of all of the breaches that have happened or the or the uh, the money that was. Uh, you know, counterfeited, they give them good money and they show them exactly what it looks like. Well, it's a little more difficult in today's environment because our some of our uh, biggest risk is on email and the bad guys have gotten so good at spoofing email. I mean, it literally a lot of times will look just like the real thing. But there's some telltale signs that we can look for. If you go and you hover over the from address, Make sure it matches what you're seeing with your eyes with what it actually is. Look at the links and see if you can hover over the link and see if the link is actually going back, let's say, to the bank. And one other way, if they need something from you, they're never going to ask you for sensitive data for you to click and give it to them in a web page. They're always going to have you go and uh, they're going to call you. Or if you're, if, if you're not sure, pick up the phone and call them. Another way is instead of clicking the link, go to the portal itself with the where you know it's secure and log in that way. There's really a thousand different ways and the bad guys are getting better and better and better. That's why we recommend security awareness training because you need to be able to identify these threats. You need to always say think before you click. Sometimes a minuscule of a second of thinking will go a long ways in security. For all of our Sentinel clients, we give away free security awareness training, and it's really relative uh, to today's threats, and I really encourage uh, you guys to take advantage of that. Uh, so really, uh, heighten your awareness about uh, security, especially in web and email and you know links and things of that nature. Think about who's sending it. Why would they send this to me? is you know really take a moment and think about it and it'll help keep you safe this is philip long with bis technology group and i appreciate you watching have a great week